Hey, what's up guys? Rev DMQ here. And uh, I just want to warn you, we're going to get in deep today. I want you to put your tin foil hats on. We're going to get into this. As you know, Battlefield just sent out all of these encrypted messages to all of these creators. All of these EA game changers and influencers, the folks who've been with the Battlefield franchise for a long time. You know the message, you've seen it, you've read it. I don't want to necessarily get into all of that, but what I want to talk about is what it means. I want to look at what it means that this has been sent out. So, protocol, AB008117, source, quantum encrypted long band radio broadcast, target, Oz, alias unknown interception, unit, USS Raven Rock Naval Signal Corps, date of transmission, don't know the year, January 4th, 3,600 hours. Some of you want to return home. That most human of all instincts, with a heavy heart, I must tell you the truth. You have no home to return to. The question we must ask ourselves now is, do we accept our fate or do we dare to fight for a better world? No one may force you into battle, but I say to all who can hear my voice, if you can fire a gun, if you can tend to wound, if you can create, I imagine, havoc, those who cannot need you. We need you. War is the only way home. So first things first, this has created a story, a narrative. Um, there is a lot of backstory here, and all of us are left trying to fill the gaps, which, one, is a great thing for DICE to be doing. I think that's awesome. I think give us a story and kind of give us some of these details, but make the story compelling in the next Battlefield game. So it might not look like it on the surface, but we actually get a lot of details, maybe not with the, the story in the bottom, maybe that a little bit of that, but kind of in the in the data in the top, in the protocol, the source, the target, interception unit, and the date of transmission. And we learn a couple things here. Uh, and <laughs> we're gonna kind of get a little bit tinfoily and that's okay, but I think this is telling us a lot about the game that we don't, uh, that that's not explicit. We kind of have to put the pieces together, but if we gather all the data that we see here and kind of extrapolate and interpolate a little bit, we can generate some semblance of a storyline. Now, I want to be clear that I'm, I'm speculating quite a bit here, but I think there's a lot for us to tell. First thing that I think is worth noting is the USS Raven Rock. This is not an actual ship in service with the United States Navy. Even though this is coming through the Navy signal, Naval Signal Corps, the, the Raven Rock is not a ship in service. But Raven Rock is a real place. It is the Raven Rock Mountain Complex in Pennsylvania. I tweeted about this. The Raven Rock Mountain Complex is basically an underground bunker where all departments of the military have a house and there's an emergency, a weather emergency operations center. And I think that is significant. But, but the Raven Rock Mountain Complex was set up during the Cold War for the United States to survive a nuclear attack. This is where the government would 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 bunker down in case the cold war turned hot so part of me is speculating that the uss raven rock is kind of the remains of the u.s government like the u.s government is not in raven rock mountain complex but is living on is housed on this u.s ship this naval ship an aircraft carrier probably and so my thought is that raven rock the USS Raven Rock is that government housing ship because the continental US, there's something, nothing left of it. Or maybe we've heard a lot of reports about weather and Raven Rock was a, was an emergency, a weather emergency operations center. Maybe climate change, there's a natural disaster. And I mean, if you look at this image, there's definitely uh, some tumultuous weather in the background there. Maybe there's been some weather collapse and that has made it, um, so that the government has to be housed on this naval ship. So that's the first thing we notice is the USS Raven Rock. But the next thing that I think is worth noting is quantum encrypted source. So a quantum encrypted source is not yet available. Like quantum encryption, quantum cryptography, is there in theory, but it is does not yet exist in real life. So this tells me that the next game is gonna be set in the near future, because we kind of are close to quantum computing and quantum cryptography, and we're kind of getting into some really nerdy stuff here, but this is a way to 
send encrypted messages that can only be deciphered by the specific person that it is sent to. And here we're going to get really kind of uh, tinfoil hat because this protocol is interesting to me. Quantum encryption tells me that it's near future. The protocol to me is very interesting, and this is, I think, maybe we're, we're getting very, very, very speculative, but I want you to bear with me. AB008117. So these are very, this is a very specific number. It could be random. It could not be. But AB008117, in, in, the, in the research that I've done, in the, the, the little bit of research that I've done, as far as I can tell, is a part of a nucleotide in our RNA. I am by no means a, a biochemist or in any way a scientist, but in the research I've seen that these specific numbers in, C in this sequence, AB008117, this is a genetic figure in our RNA, a specific genetic code, if you will. And the fact that it's under protocol is really interesting to me because protocol is, is the, is, I mean, I looked up just the definition, a set of rules governing the exchange or transmission of data between devices. So the means by which data is transferred between parties. So this makes me wonder if AB008117 is a biological marker like like an like RNA maybe say the target Oz maybe this is Oz's RNA sequence perhaps this is some type of bio cryptography that like this was a transmission sent to Oz whose alias is unknown by the means of quantum encryption, quantum cryptography, and the, the protocol, the means by which it would be decrypted, is Oz's own RNA. And now that might seem way out there, that there would be this bio cryptography, but one of the things that I think we don't always recognize is that we have bio cryptography right now in the world today. We use it every day. If you unlock your phone with your fingerprint or with your face, that's bio cryptography, that you and you alone can unlock it using your own body. So it could be that in the near future, using quantum encryption and using long band radio broadcasts, which actually do affect our body. I looked up some PhD research and there's an analysis of radio propagation inside the human body for in-body localization purposes. And there's other research that has been showing what radio frequencies do in our body with different tissues and so it could be that this radio broadcast gets sent out and when it hits Oz's body his his RNA can decrypt this quantum encrypted message this sounds way out there I know and it's kind of crazy but I mean we got to speculate right we got to do that so to me this is this is fascinating that we could be in the near future I think that's pretty clear there could be some weather situation but we do get a little bit of details about the story if the source is unknown and the target is oz quote unquote it was intercepted by the uss raven rock which let's presume is the remains of the uss government the message was not, was not sent to the raven rock it was intercepted by the raven rock meant for oz and the message is hey we need you to fight war is the only way home what is home how are they going to get there? Well, the way they're going to get there is through fighting. It's through this war. So to me, this speaks of maybe something like uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier storyline, where it's not a global conflict between nations, which I don't want to see a global conflict between the United States and Russia, U.S. and China. I don't think that's an, that's really, I don't know, that's not compelling to me. But what is compelling is that there's some rogue group, maybe in light of the natural disaster that is coming to, to power in some way, uh, and that is fighting against the world powers. Um, and they're this rogue group, and they're trying to get this message to Oz, whoever this is, uh, using bio cryptography that they need to rally some troops 
if they want to go home, and it was intercepted by the remains of the U.S. government on the USS Raven Rock. And so to me, this is not an, a global conflict between superpowers. This is more of a uh, conglomerate, maybe like we saw in Falcon and Winter Soldier, of this group of people who are fighting against global powers on a multifaceted front war because the globe is in crisis. And maybe these extreme weather patterns play a part of, of why there's a global crisis. Anyway, I'm gonna take my tinfoil hat off right now because maybe this is too deep, maybe there's something here, but I just wanna know what you guys think about it. Do you think this is way too far out there? Do you think there's something to this? Drop me a comment, let's have a conversation. Find me on Twitter, let's chat about this because to me, this is really fascinating. It's building the hype like crazy. And I think this is a great thing for the Battlefield community. If you like this video, like the video. If you don't like the video, dislike the video. Like, subscribe for, for more content. I'll be doing a lot more with Battlefield 6, Battlefield 21, whatever it's called. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Grace and peace.